And we're going to begin with coronavirus spreading to the animal kingdom. The first pets in the U.S. testing positive and the virus spreading to more big cats at the Bronx Zoo. Trevor Alt is at the zoo with more. Good morning, Trevor. Michael, good morning. You know, a few weeks ago, the Bronx Zoo made that bizarre announcement that one of their tigers had contracted this virus. Several more tigers and now lions have it, too. And perhaps even more striking this morning, we now know that your house pets can also get this virus. This morning, a startling new development in the coronavirus pandemic. For the first time in the U.S., two house cats have tested positive for COVID-19. The cat presented with symptoms of a respiratory infection, so sneezing, coughing, watery nose, nasal discharge and eye discharge, and lethargy. These cats, both from different regions of New York State, and mysteriously in one of their homes, the cat has the virus, but none of the humans do. There's possibly an increased risk if they were an indoor-outdoor cat, so they were exposed to the outside environments. The CDC now issuing recommendations for keeping you and your animals safe. You shouldn't let your pets interact with people from outside households. You should keep pets indoors, maintain social distancing while going on walks, and avoid dog parks or public places. To this point, there's been no reported animal deaths associated with COVID-19, and the CDC goes on to reiterate there's no evidence that pets play a role in spreading the virus in the United States. The disease has also spread among big cats. The Bronx Zoo has confirmed four tigers and three lions tested positive after a four-year-old tiger was diagnosed there. This virus is very contagious, whether we just don't know the extent of which animals can contract it and what the effect is. Officials at the Bronx Zoo say they suspect the tigers were infected by an employee who was asymptomatic at the time. We are working with animals with the assumption that every animal can contract this virus. I think we just have to be as cautious with them as we are with each other. Now, it's important to note the process of testing animals for this virus is very different than the process of testing humans for it. No tigers or lions are jumping you in line to get one of those limited tests. Amy. Good to know. Trevor Alt, thanks for being with us. And Dr. Jen is back now with more on this. And so, Dr. Jen, I know you've been speaking with veterinarians about this new development. What have you learned? Amy, they've been on top of this from the very beginning because of reports coming out of Asia. Um, remember, they oftentimes basically have two patients. They have their animal patient and then they have their owner. Um, and so they've been looking at that from the beginning. Normally, we see zoonotic disease of animals spreading it to humans. It's looking like it's reverse zoonosis with this. Um, and it's also important to remember three out of four new emerging infectious diseases come from animals. But as we heard from Trevor, we just need to remember our hand hygiene, keeping our hands clean, not only important to protect us, obviously it's also important to protect our pets. Yes, so important for everyone. Okay, Dr. Jen, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.